Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in to episode two of my Curl Friend Talk series. Um, so as you guys can tell from the title, this video is, it's been a long time coming, okay? I thought it is officially time to put out my natural hair journey from start to finish. So I thought, why not do it in my Curl Talk series? We can talk about it. Um, I'll be here to walk you through these pictures and just talk you through this journey that I went on. My journey was not easy. It's still not easy, you guys. It's still not easy. Even with all the knowledge that I have about natural hair, I still struggle, okay? So yeah, everyone's natural hair journey is different. No one's natural hair journey is, you know, just one track short to growth. Some people have done a big chop big chop to long hair to cutting it all off to dyeing it red to going to locks you know what i'm saying there's just so many different paths that you can have on your natural hair journey okay you guys this journey is so special to me so thank you guys so much for just taking the time to tune in and hear my story and to hear my journey all right so let's go ahead and get into these pics all right so in this first photo this is what i look like in elementary school um i basically wore this same hairstyle from kindergarten to the fifth grade and my mom she would literally do my hair once a week once every two weeks and just keep rotating this protective style of um braids and hair bows okay and so once i got into the fifth grade i actually got a relaxer and carried that into middle school and so from sixth grade to eighth grade i had a relaxer, wore straight hair. Also, I went to a predominantly white middle school. I was like one of seven black kids. So for me, natural wasn't even a thought. I'm um, like natural, all these white children with straight hair, yeah, no. Natural was not even a thought in my little, what, 13, 14 year old brain. So then getting into high school, my hair was pretty fried um going into my freshman year of high school because of all the straightening I did in middle school of having a relaxer and just you know you're in middle school you don't know how to take care of your hair you, you're gonna keep burning it until it's straight so by the time I got to high school my hair was pretty short pretty fried um I had no confidence I don't feel attractive with straight hair so curly hair could not or natural hair could not be worse okay so I started to transition the summer after my freshman year of high school and that is when I saw such a huge difference. I think I actually saw my curl pattern for the first time after having a relaxer for so many years. And so I just slowly transitioned. Um, I didn't want to big chop. Um, that just wasn't for me. Um, I didn't have the confidence at that time to completely cut my hair off in high school. So yeah, I slowly transitioned, um, trimmed. You guys see I was still straightening my hair a lot. Um, still switching from curly to straight to transitioning and you know just kind of becoming more comfortable in my natural hair um, because I had you know no idea what I was doing so during the transitioning phase once I got to that really awkward length of my hair growing out I literally wore my hair in a pineapple every single day like every day I went to school with my hair in a pineapple and it grew a lot but it was at such an awkward length I just had to put it in a pineapple every day because I didn't like it I didn't like wearing it down. So you guys can see, going into junior year, I was still straightening my hair. Um, I actually was straightening it too much to the point to where my curly hair that I grew out was starting to become straight and get heat damaged. Really, after my junior prom, I really had to stop using heat, and that's when my curls really flourished and took off. So you guys can see, going into my senior year, um, this was my first wash and go that I ever did that I ever wore to school finally wore my hair down the next year and from then on the rest is history so you guys can see I wore my hair curly the entire senior year and then my senior picks I had straight hair because I spent the entire year growing my hair out just so I could have straight hair in my senior picks <laughs> and then you guys see that was my college visit to Georgia State um you know still deciding which college I want to go to so yeah my curl pattern really just started to take off and evolve so before I graduated high school my hair was fully out of the transitioning stage um, I was fully 100% natural with no straight ends so I straightened my hair one last time when I was graduating from high school and then the next picture you see is at my graduation party 
And so getting into my freshman year of college, I pretty much wore wash and goes the entire year. Um, I used literally one hair product to define my curls. I really didn't know what I was doing. Um, but yeah, my curl pattern really flourished and came into its own. So the summer after my freshman year, that's actually when I put out my first YouTube video. So the French braid out thumbnail that you guys are seeing, that was actually my second video I ever posted on YouTube. And you know, that was just the start of my YouTube journey. So yeah, once I got into my sophomore year of college, um, that's when my YouTube journey and my Instagram really took off. Um, I was really getting into natural hair care and actually learning how to take care of my hair. Um, I started getting into twist outs, braid outs, um, learning how to really define my curls, learning about wash and goes, um, learning about co-washing, you know what I'm saying? Just educating myself into this new world that I've immersed myself into. And so, yeah, my YouTube and my social media really started to take off, especially the summer after my sophomore year. So all the downtime that I had from school during the summer, I really used that and dedicated my time to my YouTube channel and putting content on Instagram and just really pushing the Curlfriend Ari brand. So you guys see my curl pattern is looking amazing. And from then on, honestly, the rest is history. You guys have pretty much been with me for the rest of my journey. Um, so you guys see I did finger coils, I've been perfecting the wash and goes, I got into the braid outs, the twist outs, um, really started trying to do more hairstyles and put out a lot more content. I would often do length checks and I would blow dry my hair just to see how long it's gotten, um, but never really straightened it. Um, the last time I straightened my hair was probably my sophomore year of college and from sophomore year of college to now we're in 2021 and I'm 23 years old I have never straightened my hair I've blow dried it um but I haven't straightened it so yeah this hair journey you guys it has been something I think that just having a channel and being able to showcase my hair for you guys help me stick to my hair journey and you know not revert back to straight hair Going natural was the best thing I've ever done. I absolutely love natural hair. Um, thank you, God, for releasing me from the shackles of straight hair. I've literally grown a brand um, from these strands on my head, so I couldn't be more thankful. So now we will be coming up on my graduation photos from college. And it's so funny to see the difference between my high school graduation photos and my college graduation photos. Just the hair alone in itself says so much about my growth just as a black woman trying to navigate this world and finding out who she is. So I'm so happy that my college graduation photos are a reflection of who I am today and the black woman that I've become. Having to do so many YouTube videos, you know, that's a lot of hair loss. And I think my hair is definitely like talking to me like, okay, let's, you know, let's keep putting out videos but put out videos that um are more low maintenance low manipulation on your hair so that we can continue on this journey and continue to grow long strong beautiful natural hair so yeah thank you guys so much for just joining me on this journey i really am so thankful for all of you who've been with me on my natural hair journey it hasn't been easy it's still not easy but i want nothing more than to be natural and to have healthy natural hair so Comment below any thoughts or anything you'd like to tell me, anything you'd like to share with me about my hair journey or share with me about your hair journey, um, anything that you can relate on in your hair journey, whether it's like transitioning or whether you decided you wanted to um, big chop instead of transition. I would love to hear you guys' journeys. Um, thank you guys once again for tuning in. And yeah, that's a wrap for Curlfriend Talk episode two. I'll see you guys in the next one.